What's up, K family? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're gonna be messing around with this headlight and this clear coat. So if you're interested, keep watching. All right, guys, just about a year ago, we were flipping a vehicle that we had, and you know, we decided to clean up her headlights. And when we cleaned up the headlights, you know, we sanded it, we polished it, we, and then what we wanted to do, we wanted to um, spray some clear coat over it because as we all know, at least from my experiencing, polishing headlights is not a permanent fix. They always come back looking foggy and go back to being yellow. So the most permanent way that I have found out to repair them is by spraying some clear coat. And obviously there's many different clear coats out there, but this one in particular, completely destroyed that headlight when I was trying to restore it. Follow me to my painting booth. As you can see, it is our bathroom. Now, if you guys have girlfriends and you're trying to do a YouTube channel like this, it ain't gonna work out. She's gonna break up with you. Shit things that came. Once I sprayed that clear coat on the headlight, at first it looks absolutely perfect, nice and wet. And then what would happen is these spider web cracks would come all over the plastic. What it was doing, it was actually like creating cracks and eroding the plastic. And after that, I think we tried it about twice and we had the same results. We just had to sand the hell out of the headlight to even out the plastic and then we used a different clear coat to finish out the headlight. So I was just curious if it was my technique that was bad that caused the cracking, if it was the temperatures that we were painting in, was it the prep work or was it the Krylon clear coat? I mean it does say it is safe for plastic and on the back it does say most plastics so is it just it was the wrong type of plastic we don't know but on today's video just to rule some things out and you know for my own peace of mind so i don't spray this on another headlight ever again we have this mazda 3 headlight now don't ask me where i found this but i found it okay and it's perfect for today's demonstration because we still have some of the plastic lens which is in pretty decent condition so what we're gonna do we're just gonna clean this up first I'm gonna sand the surface down with probably five six hundred grit sandpaper once that's clean we're gonna use a wax and grease remover on the surface and again we're gonna try spraying this onto the headlight and we'll see we'll see how she adheres to the plastic here all right as you guys can see nice and clean dried it off overall the clarity is pretty good aside from obvious scratches here um, it doesn't have any yellowing it doesn't have any chipping so it's in good condition overall so we're using 500 grit sandpaper right now so we're just gonna go ahead and wet sand this whole headlight all right guys we have it scuffed up with the 500 nice and dry at this point all the shiny surfaces of the headlight are removed for the most part we are using a wax and grease remover here before we apply the paint things are going to be in the description links if you guys are interested in any of the products i use all right let's give it a shot we already shake we already shook this up for a little bit let's see how she lays down do a very nice thin coat in the beginning just to see if it tacks on. We'll just leave it at that. Let it acquire a nice base before we go heavier with the second coat. But again, there are no cracks currently in this headlight housing. So I'm curious after, let's see another wet coat here, how the housing will look like it's not just me guys you guys will see what I'm talking about unless we did completely something wrong on the first time we cleaned the headlight 
the only difference I could tell either the you know the materials different from headlight to headlight but for the most part I doubt that on the old headlight we repaired we actually went pretty fine with the sanding we were at like a 800 grit sandpaper and then we still buffed it out with a compound then we alcohol wiped it and then we clear coated it so maybe that clear coat just didn't have anything to adhere to whereas here we're leaving 500 grit sand scratches for the clear coat to attach itself to and that way maybe it might not destroy the housing that could be an issue we'll see we'll get back in a little bit it's kind of hot out in the sun so we'll, we'll lay down a coat really soon that's the second coat again fairly light on the coats right now the next coat i'm pretty gonna i'm pretty much gonna go heavy on the next coat now that it has a nice base on here and then we'll see the true effects of this all right guys here comes the last coat change the headlight orientation a little bit i think it's gonna be easier for me to spray although it can also run a little easier with it being this way What I tell you, what I tell you, this thing sprays heavy. Man, this thing just loads it up, bro. Wow, runs for days. This is the worst thing a painter can see. Hella runs. Like, why is this spraying so much PSI? I don't know, man. This is terrible. What a fail. I'm telling you guys, I've been, I can barely get a, I'm trying to learn HVLP gun and I'm, I'm gonna be spraying 2k clears over headlights for headlight restorations and i can't get a freaking rattle can clear coat done properly all right i know we laid it down he hella heavy but you can see the clarity of it right now and you can still see that there are plenty of scratches that the six uh, that the 500 left and it's still there so definitely for future sand it down much finer yeah, these scratches are everywhere clear coat is not diminishing these scratches but anyway i'm just gonna go ahead and finish clear coating this see what happens I'm just gonna keep my distance this time hey all right well that's nice uniform color let's let it air dry We'll come back in a few minutes. All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, what the hell did we learn from this video? One, don't fall for this big sticker right here, 25% more. It was a good value. I picked it up and it was just a terrible mistake. I haven't had luck with it. It's killing the actual plastic. This one is getting eaten up too. It's not to the same extent as the old headlight, but it is happening and you do not want to risk that. No runs, no drips, no errors completely false man this is probably the worst can i've had that i clear coated something with the fan pattern on this pretty bad it sprays way too fast way too thick and it has a circular fan pattern so it just blotches in the the clear coat in one specific area i mean you could see all the runs right over here i mean you you would have to spray this at least a foot and a half of distance to get some even coverage but again the fan pattern is pretty bad where we went really really thick 
it's decent the clarity is decent but once you go down a little bit more it's pixely it's it's it has a white haze on it and it's just not doing what we want it to do so i don't know if it's a user error guys but we do know for a fact no runs no drips is a lie it's all marketing now no bad no no hard feelings for Krylon but uh, I would not recommend this one for headlight restorations it might be good in other applications but again not for headlights so on future videos guys we are going to be using a professional grade 2k clear sprayed with a Harbor Frights spray gun and we are going to be trying to restore some headlights and with those products I'm hoping we get a nicer finish and without any cracking now if you guys know what's the reason for this cracking please comment down below because we don't want to ruin headlights that's perfect we had this uh, little canvas here to practice on and it, it worked out well so if you guys are new to the channel consider subscribing more painting videos on the way thank you like subscribe and we'll see you next on the next one I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame Though it might be nice to own a jet plane I'ma do it all for you, come along and see it's true But the world is pretty cold, you might need a sweater too I'ma put a ride on ya, get from California Trying to make it in life, it's school that never taught ya Dreams of my own